So while Russia and the coalition of Western countries are trying to defeat Islamic State by airstrikes, some forces are continuing to confront them on the ground best they can. Among the people fighting the terrorists was this young woman from Denmark. Until, that is, she had her passport confiscated by Danish police. The 22-year-old dropped out of college and travelled to Iraq to join Kurdish forces confronting the terrorist group. But when she came back to Denmark to have a break from the fighting, she had her passport seized and was banned from travelling for a year. She told us the decision by Danish authorities is a misguided approach. I don't think that it made the right decision because that decision was made to stop people to join ISIS fighting against humanity. And I didn't join ISIS. I actually was on the, on the right side, which means I was on the side where United States, Australia, UK and Germany and all those countries, even Denmark, supported us Kurds against the fight against ISIS. It doesn't make sense at all. If I don't go back and continue my work, my duty, I'll be held responsible in the law in Kurdistan for, for leaving my duties. I have to go back to the front lines after my leave because I was only on my leave when I went to Denmark. So I'm caught in the middle. Well, we asked for a comment from Copenhagen police regarding the case. They say she's assumed to have had intentions, as they put it, to take part in activities abroad that could lead to security concerns for the Danish state. Joanna's of Kurdish descent, by the way. She joined the Peshmerga, the Kurdish military force in Iraq, battling Islamists in the Middle East. For more than a year now, they've been fighting Islamic State. In fact, they're the only force that's successfully taking on ISIL on the ground in the region. Hundreds of women have joined the fight against the terrorist group. Well, Joanna told us more about her story and her experience of the war against the jihadists. I was a drill sergeant for the girls, which means I was basically responsible for the girls' training and uh, basic uh, training in discipline in how to be a soldier in the army and uh, basic training in how to use a weapon like AKs and big Cs and uh, all those uh, sniper rifles we have over there. So that's the normal thing. But that was my job in the morning to the afternoon. And later, the afternoon to the night, I was in the front lines as a sergeant, doing my guardian time, fighting, doing, doing light duty, which like is being in the office doing paperwork. We also made some operation about rescuing girls, actually. And we also made some operation about evacuate cities and villages and move the people to a more safe area where we had to evacuate the village. We had a bunch of group of soldiers where some of them were going further into the village and more in the front and fighting ISIS while the other team was taking the civilians and evacuate the village and take them to a more safe place. I was with a group who were actually fighting ISIS more and more. So we went to this area where ISIS were, where they had the base, and we all actually saw some sex slaves. They were under 10 years old. 